small businesses are often forgotten about and that is why as a small business ourselves we decided to interview other business owners in our local area to find out how they started the challenges they faced and much more our first business owner is natalie dyer who started her own personal training business back in 2020 called natalie rose fitness my name's natalie my business is natalie rose fitness and i'm a personal trainer I started my business in 2020 during lockdown. No gyms were hiring at the time, so I decided to go self-employed and work from my home. I really enjoy being self-employed. It means that I'm in full control of my business. I can be creative with the things I do and how I choose to grow and expand. Even though it's a bonus to be in control of everything, it also means that I have to do everything. I have to do the admin, the cleaning. I have to sort my own diary nobody takes any tasks off of me so it can be quite intense at times. Being a women's only personal trainer in a private studio means that the women that come to me feel much safer and comfortable here than they do in a commercial gym and we've built a really strong community of supportive women. I've become a lot more confident in the decisions that I've made and I've also become a lot more comfortable to do things that might not go to plan. I'm much happier taking risks. Whereas before I was like, everything has to work or it's just not worth even trying it. Social media has been a really big part of helping me to grow my business. Um, just last week, I put up an ad to promote a new 12 week um, program. And within six days, I filled all eight slots for that program. It's also a great way for me to communicate with current clients as well as potential clients as well. Just do it. That's, that's all my advice, just do it. Take the, take the chance and give it a go. Give it your all and it'll pay off.